Hello. Hi, Ellen. How are you? I'm going to find something here. We'll wait for people to catch up and get in with us. I can figure out where I put it in my messy, messy desk. No idea. No idea. That's fine. Oh, they, I don't even know what the graphic is. I'll have to watch. <laughs> it's um, part of the uh, program we use. So it's an automatic. I don't have myself on camera tonight, you guys, because I have a, allergies horribly. Hi, it's Tina, right? Or Tracy. It's Tracy. I'm not afraid of color, right? You're T, Tracy. Francie, Kelly, Karen, hello. My allergies have moved to my eyes. And if you looked at me, you look like I got punched in the face. So I am um, not going to go on camera tonight. You don't want to see that. <laughs> but I'm feeling better. Tracy, I thought, okay. Yep, Tracy. Hi, Kate. Hi, Penny. So tonight I'm going to attempt something. And I did a little bit before. It's a rainbow photo of the aqua pigs. Awesome. Hi, Cherie. We're going to use the... Um, this stamp set, which of course is escaping my mind because I can't find the um, packaging for it. There it is. The butterfly lace. Hi, Tia. The butterfly lace stamp. Um, I did a little pre-prep um, for this tonight and hopefully, hi Karen, hopefully what my idea is gonna go forward. So there are matching dies that cut out just the butterflies. And I have some of them here because I've already done that. Nope, not butterfly and lace. This one, yeah, butterfly lace is what it is. Yeah, but so close, Francie. Um, and I thought this would be really fun. So I have a bunch of, of the dies, are, the images already cut out. Hi, Mom. And I created a little jig for myself. I've sure, I'm sure, and I also have two of the wings of lace butterflies. I've seen, I'm sure you've all seen where you can, you know, die cut first and then stamp. Oh, and of course I need to move my camera so I'm on screen. I went lower tonight, guys. I'm going to go high, a little bit higher so that we're on, got the whole thing. There we go. Okay. And then of course I twisted me just a month. Um, so I created a little jig. I stamped it out and uh, in embossing. You didn't have to do embossing powder. You could have done just black or um black or you know any other color um, and then I die cut that out and then I used it so I could see the lines and then I have a bunch of them cut out. So we're going to emboss with our embossing powders and make some rainbows. So but I have learned that we're going to do unfortunately we're going to do a little bit at a time. I did try doing them all at once and I don't think that it works as well. So I am going to do one at a time and we're going to do black with the lemon drop. We're going to do jade with um, lunch bag. We're gonna do halushka on black. Um, we're gonna do the orange peel on, I'm just trying to make sure I have different butterflies, on, um, on lunch bag. And then I actually think I'm gonna do the cherry or the raspberry tart. And then I have some other ones done. And then if we have some more time, we'll do some more. Hi, Ellen, I did see you at the beginning. I apologize if you didn't hear me. Um, I do actually have the wisteria here as well, and um, I guess I got the other butterfly. We can do the wisteria on this one, on this one. So, but we're going to kind of do, so there's going to be a little, a lot more kind of stamping and embossing tonight, um, and then we'll put the card together, okay? So, like I said, I got this little jig out. It doesn't matter if you kind of put all of the butterflies in. I'm not going to ink them all up at once, though. So for me, I'm going to put these ones in just because there's new egg stamps today. Yes, remember that. There are new egg stamps today. For every $25, you get the special ones, um, um, the uh, postage stamp ones. <laughs> You're still zipping around getting, the craft, getting to the craft desk. Oh, okay. And then I believe you get... There's some for every 10, and they're like embossing powders and um, little some really nice candy and other things. And I apologize if I have that all wrong. Like I said, I have had this little bit of a head cold. So, um, yes, four new eggs today. So I'm going to go ahead, and we're going to do this little butterfly up here first. And because um, I learned the hard way about, because I 
in reality, the best thing would be not for a live, but for me, I would stamp this out and die cut it each one. Okay, thank you. I would die cut them out of each color and then I'd have multiple butterflies, but we do not have time for all of that. So, yes. Well, you know what, Tracy? I don't usually have this until April um, or May. And so I usually am prepared and I'm taking my allergy pills and this one just hit me in, I mean, my eyes were so swollen this morning, it wasn't even funny. So I'm going to do some anti-static powder tool. I just re-inked my embossing ink because, oops, I blew, or I, I've been using a lot of embossing powder. And then I'm going to stamp. I'm not going to worry about going extra over the others. But I thought this would be a really fun way to have lots of color quickly during a live. And what I like about this is that I can see it better. I did it on white first. And then, of course, I, I did it with fairy dust. And then I couldn't see it. So I couldn't die cut it out because I hadn't colored them yet. Um, and, of course, I was working in no light in my office. So there's our first one. And I'm just using my little stabby tool. Um, I have the tailored expression one, which is very similar to the Gina K one that Christopher has. They're, you know, both of them are great. And then we're going to grab some embossing powder. And like I said, we're going to do each color. It's, yeah, it's supposed to be, it was beautiful today. And then tomorrow, yeah, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I am going to just pour this on. And I know Francie, the nurse, is going to have to cold her eyes because I am going to use my fingers for a little bit to hold this while I heat emboss. Oops. My desk is such a mess. I didn't really clean up much after spring fling this weekend. So, all right, we're going to get that out of there. There are better ways to do this, of course, but this is such a little die cut. This is one way you can do multiple colors and only have to stamp a couple of times um, if you didn't want to die cut every single one of them out. I'll put that back in there so we're not losing it. And then what I do, if I have extra, I just shake it real hard. I don't know if you could hear that under my desk um, and get that extra embossing powder out. So we're going to just hold it very carefully and we're going to watch the melt. This is the Halushka. I promise, Francie, I'm just doing it away from my fingers. And then once that is, look, I'm, let's see if it, can you see the shine on that? Oh, my camera, these new cameras. So it's just a little bit of shine there. You can see the dull and the shiny there. So now that that's cool, we'll grab my tweezers. And we're going to heat and boss on this side. I hope everybody else is doing great. Yes, we've had the windows open. Um, for me, it's always been the um, cotton. When the cotton trees start going, that's when my allergies are at their worst. But I don't know. We didn't have the, you know, the coldest winter on hand. And things are kind of, they're not really blooming, but they're starting to. So you and Boston Butterflies with the Redwood and Polar Sparkle. Ooh. So here's the Halushka, and this is on Raven. So, oh, sorry, I'm very close tonight, so I have to remember that. So this is on the Raven cardstock, so it shows up very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that right on top so we know which one we did. And then, let's see, what else did we say we were gonna do? We're gonna do this, I'm gonna do this one next with the Jade. And I will move it up when I get to the, the next one there. Um, and then I'm just kind of pushing down. Hello, Michelle. Um, Michelle reminded me, and I was not good at that this past weekend. Don't forget the Create Your Own Ending. This, I'm sorry, the CYOE Challenge um, this month is gold and green. I actually have some. I started something using some of the butterflies and gold with a gilded and the um, cabbage, but I just hadn't put it together yet. So we're going to do this. I did do this on some white cardstock just to, I was testing to make sure my, my little stamping jig would work well. 
I liked the fact that I could do multiples if I wanted to. Yeah, it is. I just have to figure out, um, Tracy, what I'm going to do with it. <laughs> so I thought the jade was really pretty on um, the white. And then I thought, I don't know if I want to put it on the dark so much. So I wanted to do it on the the, the lunch bag. Of course, I probably did not anti-static powder to them. I think that was, Ellen, that is exactly my thoughts. I wanted the ones, I want to do a bunch on the aqua pigment paper and then um, with like the raven, the fairy dust or the rainbow sparkle. And then I want to watercolor them or use the new chroma mists. Hi, Melissa. I love this dark green too, Francie. All right, here we go. Alrighty, can't quite see it, so there we go. And then we're gonna go over there. Hi, Melissa. There's another Melissa. Oops, Francie, I promise I'll put it back on. You won't yell at me, I won't burn myself. Oh, I just did the wrong side, didn't I? That's, I'm gonna blame the cold. You want to use fallen small glitter glaze on everything? Heather, I want to use it on everything. It's on my desk. All right. Can't quite see it. My cold is not letting me see the it melts properly. All right, so there's the jade. It is very pretty. Um, and then, um, and yes, this is the, it is a craft, but if you're looking for it in the store, it will be called lunch bag, okay? Um, give me just a second, you guys. I have to wipe my eye here so I can see what I'm doing. All right, now, let's see. Oh, we were gonna do this one. I wanted to do this one with lemon drop. So this one, let's do it with the um, Wisteria. Wisteria Lane. Oh, and I got anti-static powder to it. Yes, lunch bag. She was, Francie was looking at my cards. Well, thank you, Francie. I love sending them into the store. So, it is, the, the embossing powders of the month are Ellen, um, some of my favorites, like, uh, like, I think I've said this in a live before that I have a girlfriend that lives here in town that has, um, I was crafting with her in her house one day and I needed embossing powder and I started going through her little embossing powder bin and she had gotten some embossing powders in a mystery box or something. And they were ones I hadn't heard of before. They were different embossing powders of the month. And I tried to take them home with me. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't really. I'm just kidding. I just told her. I said, I need to emboss with some of these. Okay, so here's Raven cardstock again. And this is the Wisteria Lane, which is this beautiful purple. Okay. So I know there, like I said, I know we're going to do a lot more embossing powder today, but. Oh, are you warning me because I did this? It is the jade. You are right. The jade is a little bit harder to see. And you know what? For some reason in my head, I was thinking it was like, looked more like, this is Peacock, by the way, that's sitting here on my desk dried. Um, for some reason, I was thinking it would be more blue in my head. And I'm like, duh, jade is not a blue color. I am really liking the uh, lemon drop. Okay, now we're going to switch my thing over here. I'm just letting it cool a minute before I touch it. Because, you know, if you touch hot embossing powder that's warm, it will, um, you can put a fingerprint in it. So I'm just making sure it's cool to the touch before I put anything on it. Oh, actually, I'm just going to hold this one. This is a bigger one.
I just had an, I just have been wanting to make a pile of rainbow butterflies with this release since I did this. Um, I see, I'm going to raise my camera up a, a little bit more, you guys, just because I feel like it's, something's not working with it. So excuse me a second. There we go. There we go. All right. So we've got those out of the way. It is really pretty. All right. So now we're going to take these covers off and I want to do the lemon drop on the big one. Now I did not cut out these. If I was going to do a different, another jig. Oh, sure. I can definitely give you a close up. There you go. Oops. Backwards. I'm going to kind of tilt my hand a little bit. There you go, Virginia. Hi, Christy. I don't know, Michelle. I don't have that one yet. I did not get that one. I think if it's rosewood, that would make sense. That would be brick. Um, if I was going to do this again and do this little jig, I would cut out these three and then I would cut this one by itself. Or I would cut these and then and cut these two by themselves so that I had a because there is a little bit where they can kind of but it, it works. What Cricut cutter do I use? I did not use a cook Cricut cutter. I don't have a Cricut cutter. I have a scan and cut. Um, does that so I'm not quite sure. I use dies for this. Um Virginia, how long will a lot and biopsy cutters last? I don't know the 100% answer to that, but I know they don't last forever, but they last a very long time. Um, and I know that because I have some that I've had from when I first started and they didn't work anymore and I got rid of, I had to get rid of them. So they do last a long time, but I don't know the exact life of shelf. I think it also might depend on location and like humidity, dry heat, things like that. Yes, they some of some of them. I mean, I mine that I was talking about. I mean, I'm talking like twenty some years. That's how old these are. So, uh, excuse me, guys. I dropped my little post-it notes. I'm just kind of doing that because I don't want to get a lot of anti-step powder tool on my sticky mat. So I do have my stick and step mat in here, kind of keeping that because the powder is, yeah. I mean, eight years. I do have some that are that old, I'm sure. But I've been very, very much in the last two years been a proponent of use it, use it, use it. When you don't know what to do, grab something like embossing powders and emboss some back, make some backgrounds, emboss them or emboss some sentiments or images just because, or, you know, make some paste backgrounds with stencils because then you have them ready to go. See how that, and I'm just going to pull that closer so you can see, it just lined up, it lines up just perfectly. And because of the lace, you've got that little bit on the edge that if you're off just a little bit, you're never going to know. I mean, isn't that one of those like memes you can get? You No one's going to know. So, but what I've been trying to do is so I don't get a lot of ink on my stick and set mat is just kind of leave my cover up on the side while I'm doing this. I, like I said, I I personally kind of got rid of a lot of my older ones just because, you know, I mean, like the, the companies aren't around anymore or and I just I started over fresh. Um, but my friend um, here, I have I have two friends in town that we craft together. And one time when we had to use some embossing powder and I totally forgot to bring some with, she grabbed some. So I don't even know how old it was. We don't really know. And it didn't heat emboss. It was, I don't even remember, it was old. It was, might have even been from one, a home party or something. So that, yes. Alabaster is beautiful. Lemon drop is so pretty. So this is another big one where I'm just going to use my fingers. I'll try to get it kind of closer. It's beautiful. I have to tilt it a little bit so I can see it. A little hard for me to otherwise to see it. I'll bring it closer once I'm done here. Let me get it. 
Seaton Boss. Look at that. So you can see the difference between the shine and the dot. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I, I know Francie, not looking. It's not even anywhere near my fingers. I promise it's not. Besides, I've been in so many kitchens over the years that. All right. The arm of my chair keeps getting in front of the cord. So there we go. Look at that. Look at that lemon drop. Isn't that beautiful? Lemon drop. And on, it's on Raven. Cardstock. It's just beautiful. Okay. We have two more to go here. Now let's going to just move this over. And I would stamp them out, like I said, at the same time, but I did find that it didn't, didn't like me as much. I'm going to put it in its little spot, though. Okay. So we're going to do orange, orange peel on the one and um, uh, raspberry tart, the embossing cutter of the month, on the other. Now, I do find it is the perfect yellow. And I'm not the biggest yellow fan, but it is the perfect yellow. I do find that with this stamp set in particular, that I find the solid color embossing powders play a little bit more nicely. And I think that's because of the fun lace design in there that when you get in like, and I'll show you with the raspberry tart, um, with the different mix in there, sometimes, um, it doesn't lay as smoothly, but it might have been because I didn't. It it was too long in between stamping and uh, heat embossing. That's why I did them one at a time. I wanted to see what it looked like. All right, so here's the orange peel. We're just gonna dump it right on. Find my stick tool here. All right, you ready? Have a little bit of that extra off. It's so pretty. Look at this. Look at how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? All right. And I did do one on Raven beforehand. So you can see that too. It's it's kind of got a metallic-y look on Raven. So wait till you see that. That'll be beautiful. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to find a quick little corner here. And we're just going to hope I don't drop it. Okay. Yeah, it's really pretty. And then it it does, it's, and now I'm going to pull it up a little closer. Look at, isn't that, it's kind of got like a, when it gets to certain lights, it's got like a metallic sheen on it. Okay, so we're going to do that one. And then last but not least, we have one last little butterfly here, and we're going to start putting this together. They are. They're very beautiful. Now, I need I need this color in an embossing powder, and my life will be complete. <laughs> because these colors are just beautiful. The halushka reminds me of the lime the creamy lime, there's a yellow, there's an orange, there's some red, there's some purple. So I, I need the, I need the peacocky looking color, a tealy color. All right. That color and everything, exactly. That is the color I would need in everything. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna quick wipe the stamp off just because I want to shut this and I don't want to have to worry about getting too much of that embossing ink on my stamp stick and stamp mat this is my stamping stick and stamp mat but yeah it's beautiful I haven't used it enough yet I need to really play I didn't have a lot of I didn't play with a lot of extra stuff this weekend because of the spring fling um, so I'm kind of excited to do that Yeah, the mask. Um, this one is the this one is the tailored expressions. 
I find that they're all fine and dandy. Um, I just liked that this one is in, you know, the, my fingers and I got it from my local scrapbook store. Um, it's actually almost out and needs to, I'm almost out of powder. So I have an anti-static powder bag, the original ones that everyone's had. I have a bunch of them. I just... Oh, you missed that when you ordered. Well, Ellen, I guess you're going to need to make another order. All right, this is the raspberry tart on my lunch bag. And I will show you what I mean. I'm going to twist it so I can see it. Awesome. Okay, there we go. So now I'm just going to show you. It's It's beautiful. It just, if you look at it, do you see, you can see that it's not quite as defined as like you would say that the the white is because of the speckles. Um, it's still beautiful, but like I said, if you want that really clean, clean look, you, I, a, a colored colored one would be really good for that. So see, and here is, this is the raspberry tart on Raven. Do I have mermaid tail? I do not have it. Um, and then here is the orange peel on Raven. See how I say that that almost gives it a brassy look, especially when it shines. I mean, this is the same color. You were being summoned, Jessica. I was just talking about I, my life would be complete with an embossing powder in this color. I have seen that. Um, I just usually use my heat emboss tool, stuff like that. So, all right, I've got the, this is, um, this, here's the jade on white. Here is, this is the blowout from December. So I have a bunch of them here. So now we're going to put together like a little rainbowy card. I think I, did we lose some? No. Nope. Okay. We kind of have, here the rest of them are. We have basically the rainbow. I don't have red, we're gonna do pink. I'm going to go ahead and grab a slimline card base. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica. Pays to know people in high places, right? The little stamp thing. Um, that, Oh, the printable, that's to show you the ones that are available and so that you can keep track for yourself, I believe. I did not watch the whole live last night because, like I said, I you know, here's my drops. I'm going to put a drop in if you guys don't mind. Um, Because my, I could not see much last night, so I did not watch a lot of anything. I just kind of laid on the couch. So I think I'm going to grab a stencil. And just do a very light background. What stencil should I grab? I'm just gonna, we're gonna grab the stencil of the month. We're just gonna do a light background because we have red, orange, yellow, pink, blue. We don't really have any blue, so we'll do a blue background. I'm just gonna do um, break up blue maybe and clear skies. Okay. Oh, Jessica. Thank you. <coughs> I love what I do. And I love this company. So, and you guys are awesome. Everyone in the store is. So I'm just going to do some very light picking up. This is the lace stencil, stencil of the month. Got some breakup blue. Just going to add it in a few spots. And then I'm going to grab um, clear skies. Just kind of willy-nilly just to break up the white background. It kind of will mimic a little bit of clouds. I'm not taping it down. I'm just kind of holding it in place. Oh, thank you, you guys. All right, I think we need just a little bit more right here. So I just did a very light clear skies break up blue background with the lace stencil. 
Oh, thank you, you guys. I love you guys, too. This is, I love this. It's a, it's a lot of fun. That's what I was thinking. It just gives us that little bit of look, and we're going to go ahead, and we're going to kind of start lining up our butterflies and see what we got. I got lots of pinks here. I don't think we're going to use the white uh, ones on white. Um, here is the lilac on white, or the wisteria lane on white. I just did those as my sample. So we've got that one. We've got an orange. Let's see, is one looking, this one looks a little better. Uh, I think we're going to do this one. Pink, orange, red, orange, yellow, green. We need green. We're going to do two greens because we're going to do both the Halushka and, um, and then we need our purple. I don't know if I want to do that. We're going to, oh, this one looks out of place. We got to do one more, don't we, guys? We got to have purple. We got to have a small purple. I don't think this one fits. I don't think this one fits. Do you? I think it looks funny with this big one right here. I think, I don't know. What do you guys think? I think we need a small one. What do you guys think? Yes? We got, I got extra die cuts. We'll make a quick small purple on black. I didn't even plan it to be, you know, well, I guess it's not every other color, but we need a different, we need one more black, one more. Yeah, it doesn't quite fit. So I've got a, here, we'll use this one. We'll do this one. So I did a couple extras in case I made a mistake. We'll quick do a purple on the, yep, needs to, all right, thank you guys. I agree, it needs to be small. I just kind of put them all in there. Move this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Once again, anti-static powder tool, emboss. If you find that your embossing powder isn't sticking, check your embossing pad. Do you need to re-ink it? I definitely needed to re-ink mine tonight. All right. Oh, yes. Happy accidents. You're right. Or reasons to embellish. I can't think of the other term that I've heard too. Instead of happy accidents. All right. Let's wipe that off so I don't get ink all over my stuff. I don't even have a sentiment planned yet, but I knew this is what I wanted to do. I have one other idea for a, a butterfly card. We might be able to, because it's going kind of fast, play with that tonight too and see if it works. But I creative, thank you, creative opportunities is exactly the word I was looking for. Or um, I know there's another thing for not necessarily creative opportunities, but like uh Something embellishments, I think, is the word to use. Like, it's like, I've heard somebody say it. I can't think of it. It's okay. All right. So, we got that. Okay, I will use my tweezers, Francie, I promise, because this one's little. I don't want to burn my little fingers. Just got to figure out where I want to place it. We'll do it right here. I tend to you if I have space, Francie, I tend to use it. But if there if there isn't little like this one's so small, I have to or I'll burn my fingers. But if I'm like doing a big big piece i can usually just i just hold it with my fingers because i can move the spots okay so that worked out just kind of perfect so we got those guys placed kind of here and like i said the blue is in the background let's get them placed down here it's okay actually ended up kind of they're almost oh no never mind Forget that. I said anything. I think this yellow guy, he needs to be like front and center. So we are just going to put glue down the bodies and the antennae. And maybe just a little bit. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue like that so we can have like some floppy. And we're going to try to center this guy. It's best. I'm just eyeballing it. All right. 
And so the, this, like I said, is perfect for embossing because of the lace on the sides. If you get a little, like on this one, I have a little bit of over, I didn't anti-static power tool. There's enough of the lace on the other pieces that you're not gonna notice. Now this guy, we're gonna just kind of fluff these corner piece, these corner things like this. And I might just kind of, and then we'll just, so that when we put him down, we're gonna put him down first. Oh, that sounds really good. It is, and Bell, it's something similar to that. I can't, I know there's, uh, that's good. That works for me, Melissa. Yeah, what flavor do you have, Penny? I bought some um, cinnamon liquor, or some of the cinnamon jelly hearts that were on clearance because of yeah, um, Valentine's Day, and I saved them for spring fling, and then I didn't go to my friend's house to do it with her, because of, I had this head, I thought I had this head cold, which ended up being allergies, but I didn't want to get her sick because she has a new grandbaby. And so I, I, I brought them in the house to eat tonight. I tuck them under a little ways here and there. Blasted berry, watermelon, and green apple. Mmm. Ten eyeballing it. To look intently, especially at making an evaluation or choice. Di diners eyeballing the menu. Eyeball the competition. There we go. All right, we're gonna fluff this guy again here. That is perfect. Green apple is very good. My sister buys them once in a while when I'm around her. Um, my little sister has bought them. Um, and I, I snag them from her when she has them. Oh, if it was actual an, an actual eyeballing was an actual word. Okay, now my glue is not participating very well but it will work. If it falls off after we get off the card live, I will fix it. And then we're gonna fluff this guy a little bit too. Fluffing or juicing, it is, it, it both fluffing, I get, I, a friend of mine says that. Um, and so I, I kind of think of her when I say that. Um, but yes, juicing would be another way to say it. We're just going to kind of twist him around. And there we've got our little rainbow butterfly panel. And I think, to be honest with you, we are going to clean up my MSC quick and we are stamping our sentiment in black. I I guess, I, you know, my friend, my friend Leah says it. And um, I just sometimes think of her whenever I say it, so... I suppose she does a lot more with florals, so thank you, you guys. Like I said, this was just this is one of the ideas I had. I'm going to make sure that I'm sticking this on the right section of my stamp. We'll pull these guys off. We'll just stick them down on our other piece over there, and then we'll take our little jig, which I'm going to save. because I can line up my stamp set underneath and line it up. And we're gonna stamp this guy in. Zhuzh would be the mini New York cross. It was, that's cool. That's, that's, that's cool, Zhuzh. I mean, I've Zhuzh it, but all right. Now, we need to choose a sentiment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull the inspiration wreath from the Create Your Own or the Spring Fling event. I really love these sentiments. <laughs> and I'm going to use the Sending Sunshine because this is like a rainbow card. And rainbows come when the sun comes out. So we're going to just kind of eyeball it down here. <coughs> Excuse me. I need to take a drink here. Sorry if I it kind of slurped a little. All right. And I'm just going to stamp this up there. The earliest known use of the verb jizz in the 1970s. OED's earliest evidence of jizz is from the 1970s in the writing of P. Barton. It's also recorded from the noun, 1960. Interesting. It reminds me of Zuzu. 
and Zuzu, you know, from It's a Wonderful Life. So I'm just going to stamp this down several times because I don't like to um, press hard on my sentiments. I like to just press it a couple of times. And there we go. Pull that stamp set off. And we are going to, I'm going to, um, you could have trimmed this down and placed it on um, a black mat and then put it on a um, slimline card base. I, since we did not cut that down, I'm going to put it, I'll put it on a card base after. Um, but this panel fits perfectly on this card base. Thank you. You could also do, we could also do some ink blending on the edges so that it popped a little bit. You could pop it up a little. Um, you could do a car craft card stock at the top and bottom so it stuck out. I kind of like the idea of just leaving it white underneath. The sentiment is from Inspirational Wreath. I am just going to put it on my card base since I already have it pulled out because um, I don't, I don't want to detract from the beautiful butterflies. What not to wear. I loved that show. I liked that they changed it. The first, I remember that very first episode. I thought they were so mean when the, when the way they talked and then they kind of made it sound better. I mean, it, it was almost like a, you know, they kind of told people, you know, they, they found positives about people instead of always being so negative. Yes, there is. But I do like the fact that it doesn't have, and that black mat would tie in nicely, but I do have the black underneath on the Raven. But I do like the fact that it's, um, that it, it, if it doesn't, I mean, it, the butterflies are the focal point. So we have about 15 minutes. Do you want me to try the card I was thinking about, you guys? We'll try and see if it works. We need a piece of perfect blend. I don't always stamp on perfect blend because I like to save it for my coloring, but tonight we're going to use it. You ordered that last night, completely forgot about the one thing you absolutely needed. That's the way it worked. Okay, so Melissa, go put it in your cart when we're done with this and just leave it there. I am up to it. It'll be fine. Like I said, it's just... As long as I don't touch my face, which you guys can't see me doing, I'm doing okay. And um, it's better today than it was yesterday. I can tell you that already. Okay, so we are going to line this up in the corner. Well, you know what? I lied. I am going to get, I'm not sure where my lid, my cover is. Oh, there it is. We're going to get my regular stick and step mat that I always use with my... I see that has my blending buddy in it because then I can line it up right in the center. Now I have an idea. Hopefully it will work. I think it's going to work. You could do this with any of the stamps, but I'm going to use the stamp of the month, the sweet wings. Heather, let us play with the new Chromis last night. Oh yeah. They're beautiful. Aren't they? Yeah. I, the blood butterflies are, are just beautiful. Okay, so my idea is we're going to make another rainbow, okay? So if you've got to give me just a minute to grab, we're going to make a rainbow. We're going to stamp it out in the inks. I'm going to grab, oh, I don't want to use guppy. I'm going to grab a whole plethora of Simon Hurley inks here. All right, I think I have one in every color. I have Love Struck, Roar, Shooting Stars, Overzealous, Clear Skies, and Crown Me. And like I always say, I'm starting with yellow because it's the most unforgiving. I cannot wait to play with them a little bit more. Now, hopefully my stamp isn't too dirty. This one will be a little hard to see. This yellow will because it is on white. This is Shooting Star. I have a little bit of a bump in my the middle of my misty, so I have to stamp this a couple of times. Plus, these inks need to be re-inked. Okay, so we've got the first one. I'm going to do one more, right? Come on. This shouldn't take too long. 
As long as you guys are up for it. There we go. I am not terribly worried about cleaning off my stamp other than the fact that we're going to be moving it. So my idea is, is we're going to just stamp over the butterfly with each color and make the rainbow. Now, I think you could do, I think it would be fun to do it all the way down the line. Nope, it, you're not too late, Tina. No, Francie, I don't think so. First of all, this one's old. It has, it's one of the original Misty's. I am missing a, um, I broke it last year or so, and I haven't replaced it yet. It's on my list to do. Um, but, uh, I heat embossed on it way long ago, three years ago, and just never changed it. So, but I use it a lot. I mean, so yeah, nope, Tina, we are starting a second card. I will go back over the first card. This is the stamp of the month called Sweet Wings. That was Roar, which was quite dark on the top of that yellow. But, and then we're going to go off a little bit. And we're going to do Love Struck. Oh yeah, that's what I I don't even think I, why I wasn't paying attention. I had it sitting on the on it, and that's what is the other thing I will tell you that I have found, Francie, is that this is the glass mat, but you know with the glass mats, there's feet on them. Um, and I feel like it's not as flat. So if I take my glass, if I took my glass mat off and we work directly on my desktop, I find I get a better stamp with my Misty. Does that make sense? Um, I feel like there's a little bit of gig give with the blast mat underneath, where if I have my solid desktop, now this ink pad definitely needs to be re-inked, I get a little bit better. So sometimes what I'll do is I go off to the edge over here where it's, or over here where it's very close to the edge, and that I have found it works. And then, of course, sometimes I stand up just to get that extra, but it helps when your inks are definitely, um, inked. <laughs> All right. I just want them to be similar because the middle of this one doesn't look quite as solid. So I just thought this would be kind of fun. I love this stamp. Yep. I have talked, I have thought about taking the feet off of my mat, my glass mat, um, just to see if it makes a difference because I've moved a couple of them. I'm trying to get it so that the butterflies don't quite, I might turn this guy this way. Um, so they don't quite go exactly the same way. Oh, I didn't quite get that cleaned off very well. That's all right. It'll be fine. Now this is overzealous. I, my thoughts would have been is to, if I did this right, would have been to try to use just the red, yellow, and, um, blue and stamp over each other and make them colors blend but this is working just as well oh yeah it 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 doesn't really slip and slide so much it just um because i've got the it's got this on the back but it's just uh i'm just going fast hi joanne how are you hi Anne marie Welcome. We're kind of working on a fast second card here. And then we're going to go to Clear Skies. I think I said that was overzealous. I got to move my, get my ink pads out of the way so you can see what I'm doing here. So we've had Love Struck, Over Aurora, Shooting Star, Overzealous. We probably could have used Guppy. Guppy was a, is a little bit lighter than the Roar. The Roar is kind of overpowering, but I think that's fun. Oh, the green and the blue over on top of each other right there is just beautiful. All right, we're gonna do one more time. Oh, yeah, I noticed that, I mine haven't been too much. Oh, it will, if you take, oh, okay, that's, okay, that makes sense, yes. That it might, it will slip, okay. Well, I would put like one of those um, shelf liners underneath it, probably, um, to keep it, flat but i probably am not going to take it off just because i'm not 
And I think we're going to turn this guy one more time. And we're going to go off the edge this way. And then we're going to use Crown Me, which is my favorite. Sorry, guys, I got a dab again. Anne-Marie, Francie says hi, because you're over on Facebook. She wanted to make sure you knew she said hi. Thank you. I think this is looking very much fun. It was kind of what my envision was. Um, but the other thing I want to do, I'm going to try when I have some, you know, when I can line it up real slow and patiently and do what I'm thinking. And we'll see how that works, too. But I think this looks great. And it's fun because it's just this one. This is the stamp of the month. You know, and that you get three stamps with it. There's a heart. There's a sentiment, which is the sentiment we're going to use. And this, and look at how, how, what a great card this can be. You know, you can stamp it and you could, um, I have an original Missy that I think is 10 years old. I have tried to talk myself into the minis, but I haven't. I have, Ellen, I have both. I have both and I love to have two. I bought this originally, and I mistakenly bought it, thinking it would be perfect, not realizing that, duh, I want to be able to put a full card in there. I love this for panels. I love this for sentiments. I love this for little things. I think it's nice to have two, um, if you can, because you can always leave something in. Like, if I'm going to Copic color or alcohol marker color, I want to leave my stamp where it is so I can stamp over when I'm done. And... Um, then I can use my other Misty for that. So I will say I do like the having the fact. And then my very good friend, one of my very good friends, Joanne, or, um, yeah, Joanne, she um, gave me a memory Misty that she wasn't using um, a few, last year. And I started using that just recently too. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. We're going to kind of finish this up because my eye is starting to get icky. No, it doesn't take up as much real estate. And the thing that I like about the mini is you can do the panels. What I like about the original, we're going to cut this down just a little bit, uh, is that you can do the full card base or, you know, you can do the longer stamps, the bigger stamps. And I like slimline a lot. So for me, it's nice to put that. So we're going to cut this off a little bit more towards the top because I wanted to make sure that the red goes off like the purple. Okay. And then that is actually probably my goal. I never thought about that. Um, I'm going to, with my Missy, that's what I'm, when I replace mine, that is what I'm going to do with mine is push my uh, stamp in it to remind me to personalizely stamp that. We are going to mat this on black this time because we are going to stamp that sentiment out. And we're just going to do, and here's a good example. We're going to grab our mini Misty. Oh, you're, no, you guys are welcome. I just, all of a sudden, it's, I was like, I can't, oh, I can't see out of my right eye. So we're going to kind of, I think I'm going to stick it right in through in here. Uh, maybe not. I like, uh, I'm trying to decide. No, I don't like it right there. I think we're going to put it right here. We're just going to put it right here. Sorry if my head's in the way, you guys. I got to line it up as best I can. I'm actually going to grab one of my um, Taylor grid mats and stamp it and see what we think. I'm just going to use some red quick. See how straight it is. Well, of course, my magnets are on top of each other. And see what that looks like. That looks like it needs to be down just a hair. Let's try it one more time. Um, the low, you mean down here, Francie? There you go, Tina. I would, like I said, if Tina, if you can, I would definitely get the, the mint, the original, if you're getting your first Misty, because you can do more with it. Um, than the mini for right now. Because like I said, the mini you can do a card panel in, but the, the original you can do a full card base so you can put your sentiment inside. You can get the stamp or the um, stick and snap mat so that you can put that in the center to do your backgrounds. And then you can do a um, slimline card in it. Okay, Francie says in this, 
back down corner. You guys, we're going to change it to here, okay? But let's make sure it's straight. Hi, Lisa. How are you? My friends. Perfect. I have it up perfect. Yep, six by eight. Yes, it's six by eight. Here's the original. I'm. This is... This is the original size, but yours will be a Misty 2.0, which has the spot for the magnet right here. And um, it's got the other, the real hinges and the metal hinges, and it will have the grid and dark and a little lip. Okay, this is an older Misty. So, um, but yeah, you can do six by eight in here. And then the stick and stamp mat fits in there perfectly. It looks a little, well, you know what, Tina? We're not going to be done with this. We got to have some sparkle, right? Where's my raven ink? We're going to add a little sparkle. Oh, I still have <laughs> my grid mat in there. Just trying to figure out why it was so light. Okay, you guys are going so fast. I can't see. It's a forlorn hello. Yes, we will make it work. I promise. I promise. And I'm... I said, normally you guys should not have to ink these up that much, but I use my ink so much that I have to re-ink them because I stamp. I spend a lot of time in my craft room on the weekends, and I'm also not the best at remembering to cover them up. That's not good. So when I stamp, I stamp out a lot. And my it's I've only re-inked my Simon Hurley ink pads once in the couple years that I've had them. So, all right. There we go. So we're going to do that. Hello. Yep, half a sheet of cardstock fits. That is perfectly right, Heather. You can usually get longer stamps, like I said, in it. You can do them at an angle. Uh, if you have to and you have a longer stamp that doesn't fit, you can use your lid. I've done that before. Uh, Okay, I gotta hold this up and eyeball it, guys. Eyeball it as best as I can. If we're all cockeyed, we're gonna blame my allergies. Okay, so we've got this. Hello, I'm not sure who that is. J Shawl 891. No, nope, I didn't do a mask. I did not want to. I wanted to have them pop over each other so that because the Simon Hurley inks tend to blend very nicely but um I'm just thinking this less thank you all right we're going to add some sparkles we're going to add some sparkles and we're going to go a little hog wild on our sparkles you guys okay so I know we're getting close to the end but we're going to put sparkles on every one of these little dots Of course, I'm only going to do them on the ones that are on top. I know I'm throwing a lot of glue down right away, but we're going to stick them all on, and then we'll stick a few down by our... And I'm going to use the iridescent. We're going to use a variety of different ones. Because we got to have that extra little sparkle. These are the neutrals. And Francie, I'm getting... I'm going to poke you in the eye tonight. So you guys all know what it feels like to be me today. Francie likes my pokey pen because she says it's it's like it's 3D and it's coming at ya. Oh, I gotta make sure these are not, they're, they're facing the right direction. Sorry about that, you guys. It's not cooperating that way. There we go. All right, we got to spit them out a little bit more so I can see them. Can't even tell. Is it poking you guys in the eye today? It is. Okay. Oh, hi, Jill. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure because I was like, I wasn't 100% sure. Who was saying hello? I'd like to say hello to you by your name if I can. I'm trying to do the smaller ones at the bottom and the bigger ones at the top, but in hindsight, I'm really just kind of grabbing the ones that are faced upright and sticking them down. Oh, that's too big. There we go. 
I love these little sparkles. And then we're going to put a couple of them down in the corner by our sentiment. Sorry if I'm not responding to, oh, that one's upside down. 3D crafting, yep, ouch. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of funny. Every time I use this, I think of you guys because it just makes me laugh thinking that I, I didn't realize that the first time I used it, it was like I was poking you in the eye. trying to kind of match them up a little bit here that looks like a smaller one just so they don't look too off the wall together oh my goodness come on there we go these prisms are going to just be beautiful on this on these there we go and actually this one is showing so we are going to put it there and there is one kind of showing here, so we're going to put it there. There's that one, and we're going to put that one. And then I suppose we're going to go for it. We're just going to put it. We're just going for it, guys. I changed my mind, right? Upside down. Um, Tina, I love to try to... That is one thing last year or the year before I tried to do... Um, is I try to figure out ways to use small stamps and make a big impact. So I've had a couple of made a couple of cards where I've just used the small stamps um, from a bit like a, from a stamp set or things. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that these guys don't. This doesn't feel so lonely. Put one there, and then we're going to put a couple. We're going to put one of the big one big guys down here. And then we'll grab one of these guys and we'll grab one of these guys. And then all that's left is to put it on a card base, which I will do later. Thank you, you guys. Oh yes, here, I will get it up so you can see. We can add some sparkle to the other card if we want as well. Um, but let me grab that one. So this one, like I said, focused on the stamp of the month. I'll pull it up closer and kind of get it in the sh using the Simon Hurley ink. So we just use two stamps on this whole stamp set. And then our other card, we used our um, butterfly lace and our um, wings of lace. Is that what it's called? I'm sorry, you guys. Yep. Wings of lace butterflies with some of the embossing powders that came out and the embossing powder of the month and the um, purple one. And then we have the stencil in the background. So thank you, you guys. So there we go. We made two cards tonight in just about an hour. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Don't forget to stop in. Um, create your own ending event. Um, virtual spots are still open. Don't forget there's eggs. The egg hunt is going on over in the store. Um, and Christopher will be live with us tomorrow night. So have a good night, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.